Why doesn't the government want him to turn himself in? Because then they can't ask for detention. So they go and they arrest him. They arrest a guy who came to New York to turn himself in. There's no vindication for me because for four years I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim making machine kept going on. Let's talk about one of the most jaw dropping stories shaking up Hollywood right now. A new viral video has surfaced showing Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z and Diddy partying like never before. But this isn't just any nostalgic look back at the glitz and glamour. Oh no, this is the kind of footage that makes you wonder what really went down behind those velvet ropes. What secrets have been hiding in plain sight all these years? This took Sean Diddy Combs into custody. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. They place Combs under arrest and lead him out the front door in handcuffs. Now we've always known Diddy could throw a party, right? His white parties in the Hamptons were legendary with the likes of Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z, and Beyonce all gracing the guest list. These events weren't just parties, they were the epicenter of celebrity culture at the time, a glittering display of power, wealth, and influence. But as recent leaks and resurfaced footage suggest, there's a whole lot more to these soirees than meets the eye. And it seems the world is only now starting to get a glimpse of what might have been happening once the cameras stopped rolling. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. That changes now, Sean. So let's rewind for a second. Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z, and Beyonce have all been in the spotlight for years, their careers absolutely dominating the music and entertainment industries. But while we were busy watching them rise to fame, were they also involved in something far darker? That's the big question fans are asking after recent recordings and viral clips from these famous white parties started circulating. What's being uncovered paints a picture of events that were not just about champagne and designer outfits. Instead, these parties have been linked to some of the most shocking allegations to hit Hollywood in years. You know, I think in federal court and for these charges, they would say it's routine. But in the public realm, this is very significant just from who we associate Diddy being and everything we've seen him do over the decades. Like you said, this is quite the downfall to go from. I mean, we saw the mansions back back in March that were raided by the feds. So to go from living in those mansions to being in a jail. First up, Jennifer Lopez. Now, she's often seen as the innocent one in these stories right? The hardworking girl next door who made it big. But let's not forget, during the height of Diddy's white parties, she was right there by his side, often seen attending these events. She wasn't just a passive guest, no. J-Lo was deeply embedded in Diddy's world. And with that, people are starting to wonder just how much she knew about what was happening behind the scenes. Of the evidence, alleged evidence, that's been gathered in this case was from those two raids that were conducted on his personal homes in Miami and Los Angeles. And the indictment names the, um, the, the things seized that, they, that he allegedly made videos of these performances mm -hmm. as, that have been named for- Remember, Jennifer Lopez and Diddy were in a couple in the late 90s and early 2000s, the power couple everyone was obsessed with. So it's no surprise that she was a regular at his parties. But now with footage resurfacing, fans are questioning whether her role was more than just a girlfriend having a good time. Could she have been more involved in what's being described as Diddy's darker side? These viral clips certainly suggest that Lopez was in deep and it's not a good look for her. And then there's Jay-Z's connection to Diddy runs long and deep. These two have been friends and collaborators for years, but what's recently come to light is putting Jay in a very uncomfortable position Leaked footage and eyewitness accounts are pointing to Jay-Z being more than just an innocent and bystander at these white parties. In fact, he was a key figure, often seen partying alongside Diddy and from the looks of it, might have had a front row seat to some of the more questionable activities that allegedly took place at these gatherings. After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? There are even rumors swirling that Jay-Z wasn't just attending these parties, he might have been an active participant in the culture Diddy cultivated at them. And if these allegations are true, that's bad news for Jay-Z, whose reputation has always been that of a business mogul who made it to the top with his own hard work and genius. But now people are starting to ask, how much did Jay-Z know about the activities going on at these parties? Did he help keep the whole operation under wraps? This has to be a 100% culture shock. I can't imagine living a lifestyle of the incredibly rich and famous and then going into this very dark, impersonal, cold, 
austere facility. Speaking of keeping things under wraps, let's not forget by Yance. Queen Bee herself has remained pretty quiet on this entire matter, but how long can she stay silent? Her close ties to Jay-Z mean that wherever he was, she wasn't far behind. And while there's been no direct evidence linking Beyoncé to anything shady, some are even wondering whether she knew about the darker side of these events and chose to look the other way. What's adding fuel to the fire is the recent leak of some private recordings that have intensified scrutiny on Diddy's entire inner circle. These recordings allegedly capture conversations between Diddy and some of his high-profile guests. And let's just say, they're not conversations you'd expect at a standard Hollywood party. According to those who've heard the tapes, they reveal a side of these events that's deeply unsettling, one filled with manipulation, coercion, and power games. And Stacey, you say today's indictment reads like a mob indictment. What was most shocking to you of all these allegations? Yeah, the fact j And that's not all. Some of the footage that's gone viral recently shows the after-party atmosphere at these white events. This is where things start to get a little murky. Imagine this, Diddy decked out in his all-white ensemble, champagne in hand, casually telling the crowd that the kids need to leave. Sounds innocent, right? Well, not so much anymore. People are now interpreting that moment in a whole new light, especially after hearing rumors about what went down once the younger guests had been shown the door. The girls, look at this. <laughs> Matter of fact, why the girls come, hey yo, no, check this out, no homo, no homo, come here, man. Hey yo, Kevin, come here, no homo, we gonna have a contest. You know we gonna have a contest, we gonna get our breath first, cause your breath is stinking sometimes. And we're going to go back and forth. These weren't just lavish get-togethers. Some partygoers have started coming forward, hinting that once the main event ended, a much more exclusive and secretive party started. The viral video footage of Diddy Lopez, Jay-Z, and others has people wondering if they knew exactly what was going on once the cameras were turned off and the real party began. According to some insiders, the atmosphere was anything but innocent, and the power dynamics at play were far more complex than anyone ever imagined. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. One of the things that makes all of this even more troubling is that these white parties were not just social gatherings, they were displays of power. Getting an invite wasn't just a fun perk of being famous, it was a sign that you were part of Diddy's exclusive inner circle. But now people are looking back and wondering whether being part of that circle came with a price. Were celebrities like Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z, and Beyonce complicit in covering up the more troubling aspects of these events? Or were they completely in the dark, unaware of what was happening right under their noses? Complete with very, very serious and salacious allegations, uh, including allegations that uh, Combs had cameras throughout his home. So the most damning rumors surrounding these parties are the claims that they weren't just glamorous affairs. Allegedly, they were much more controlled and orchestrated than anyone knew. There are reports suggesting that Diddy's inner circle, including high-profile celebrities, helped keep certain activities at these events hidden. Whether they knew the full extent of what was going on is still up for debate, but one thing is for sure these parties weren't Easter. Rumors are that Diddy was running some kind of Epstein-type deal where he was filming everybody, right? That's the rumors, yeah. I don't know that there's any proof or anything other than that. The allegations don't stop there. It's been said that after certain guests left, only a select few were invited to stay behind for a much more private gathering. So this is where things supposedly took a more sinister turn. Some of the leaked recordings suggest that these after parties involved manipulation, with guests being pressured into participating in things they weren't comfortable with. And with Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z and Bayonce all being regulars at these events, people are starting to wonder how much they knew and whether they chose to ignore what was happening. He controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone. But perhaps the most shocking part of this story is how these revelations are affecting the personal lives of these stars. Jennifer Lopez, in particular, is facing increased scrutiny. Her relationship with Diddy was highly publicized, and while it ended in 2001, the resurfacing of these allegations has put her right back in the spotlight. Fans are now reevaluating her past with Diddy, wondering if she was aware of the more unsavory aspects of his parties. Could her proximity to Diddy during this time have impacted her reputation? Puffy Combs and Jennifer Lopez, probably one of the most glamorous couples just in history. As for Jake Z, his long-standing friendship with Diddy's come under fire, with rumors swirling that he might have been more involved in the behind-the-scenes activities at these parties than anyone ever suspected. The leaked footage and recordings don't directly incriminate him, but they do paint a picture of someone who is very much in Diddy's world. And given Jay-Z's rise to power in the industry, some are now questioning whether his association with Diddy helped him climb the ladder in ways that weren't entirely clean. Celebrity couple, we, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. 
That's beautiful. Like, like real people. Yeah. And then there's Bayance, who has so far managed to avoid direct involvement in these allegations. But even Queen B isn't immune to the rumors, especially given her close relationship with both Jay Z and Diddy. People are speculating whether she knew about the more troubling aspects of these parties and chose to stay silent. After all, Beyoncé is known for her carefully curated public image, and any hint of scandal could be damaging. But the silence surrounding her involvement is only fueling more speculation, with fans demanding answers. What's also fascinating is the way these viral videos are now being analyzed. Fans are dissecting every frame, looking for clues that might reveal what was really going on at these parties. In one particularly viral clip, you can see Diddy Lopez, Jay-Z, and others in what seems like a private moment, away from the main crowd. They're laughing, talking, and looking like they're having the time of their lives. But now, with everything we know, that same footage feels much more ominous. Were they just having fun, or were they part of something more? That, uh, this is the end of the, of the Diddy story, as we know it. These viral videos have sparked a wave of conspiracy theories on social media. Some fans believe that Diddy's parties were more than just social events, they were part of a larger, more insidious culture within Hollywood. Theories range from wild speculations about secret deals to darker allegations of manipulation and power plays. And with Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z, and Bayans all tied to Diddy during this time, people are starting to wonder if they were part of the cover-up. One theory that's gained a lot of traction is that Diddy's white parties were a breeding ground for scandal. According to this theory, high-profile guests were brought in, wined and dined, and then subtly coerced into participating in things they might not have otherwise been comfortable with. Some even suggest that Diddy used these parties as a way to leverage power, ensuring that anyone who attended was bound to him by shared secrets. If true, that's a chilling thought. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. And it's not just fans who are talking. Industry insiders have started to weigh in, with some claiming that they saw things at these parties they'd rather forget. According to one source, the atmosphere at these white parties was often tense, with Diddy acting as the ringmaster, orchestrating everything to his liking. This insider claims that there were always unspoken rules about what could and couldn't be discussed, and anyone who crossed the line was quickly shown the door. In the end, what we're left with is a picture of a world that's far more complicated than it seems. Diddy's white parties, once seen as the epitome of glamour and exclusivity, are now being re-evaluated under a much harsher light. And with Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z, and Beyoncé all connected to these events, it's hard not to wonder what role they played. Were they innocent bystanders caught up in the whirlwind of celebrity culture? Or were they willing participants in a much darker world? And with Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z, and Beyoncé all connected to these events, it's hard not to wonder what role they played. Or were they innocent bystanders caught up in the whirlwind of celebrity culture? Or were they willing participants in a much darker world? Jennifer Lopez and Diddy weren't just the ultimate power couple of their time, they were also one of the most talked about duos in the entertainment industry. Their relationship was a wild roller coaster ride that had more ups and downs than anyone could have imagined. So it seemed like they were destined for the long haul, things started to unravel in ways that nobody saw coming. So let's dive into the highs and lows of their romance, and how Diddy's recent legal troubles have stirred up memories of their storm relationship, and maybe even stirred up trouble in Lopez's current life. Everybody's writing about you. There's always rumors about you, too. How, how do you deal with it? What do you have got something you want to tell us in the press? We don't care. <laughs> First off, Jennifer and Diddy met back in 1999 at the height of Diddy's Bad Boy Records fame. Jennifer was just breaking into the mainstream with hits like If You Had My Love, and together, they made headlines everywhere they went. Their chemistry was electric, but their relationship wasn't just about romance, it was about being seen. They were both at the peak of their fame, attending all the hottest events together, and that included Diddy's infamous white parties. So Lopez wasn't just arm candy at these events, she was a major player. Whenever she arrived on the scene, all eyes were on her. She brought a star quality that elevated these gatherings, turning them into something even bigger. But as glamorous as it seemed, their relationship had a dark side. The pair's time together was marked by scandal, including the infamous nightclub incident in 1999. Jennifer and Diddy were at Club New York, enjoying a night out when everything took a wild turn. The details are still murky. But what we know is that shots were fired, and the chaos that followed became headline news. Lopez was taken into custody alongside Diddy, a moment that became one of the most unforgettable images of the era. While she was quickly cleared of any involvement, that night left a lasting stain on their relationship. It was a wake-up call, a reminder that being with Diddy meant being pulled into a world that was far from glamorous. There are some problems that are the defense has brought up originally, but it seems like, just from reading this 14-page indictment, that there is enough physical evidence to perhaps get a conviction in this case. We will shall see. Despite the chaos of that incident, 
Jennifer stood by Diddy for a while longer, but their relationship wouldn't survive the fallout. In 2001, they officially called it quits, but even though they moved on, the connection they shared kept them linked in the public's eye. Their breakup was all over the news, but for Jennifer, it was more than just a breakup, it was a turning point. She went from being Diddy's girlfriend to being one of the biggest names in Hollywood. And yet, her past with Diddy never fully went away. Anytime his name came up, so did hers, a reminder of the drama they once shared. Now, so what is next? Uh, is he going to be in jail in this in this facility until the trial begins? Is there a chance he could, you know, get sh get moved earlier than that? As of this moment, as of this hour, as of today, yes. But of course, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to be appealing this thing um, next to the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to overturn the judge's order here to try and get him actually released. Um. Fast forward to today, and Diddy's recent troubles have forced that pass back into the spotlight. The resurfacing of his white parties and the allegations that have come with them have people talking about Lopez's involvement once again. While she's managed to stay silent on the matter so far, her connection to Diddy is a major part of why fans are so fascinated. People are starting to re-evaluate just how involved she might have been in the culture surrounding those parties. Did she know about the alleged darker side of these events? Did she turn a blind eye? These are the questions on everyone's mind. The issue, the issue is, it seems as though he wants to kind of like exert power and dominance over people who don't really want it. But it's not just Lopez's past that's under scrutiny her present is being affected too. Jennifer is now married to Ben Affleck, and sources say that the recent rumors surrounding her time with Diddy have put a strain on their relationship. After all, it's hard to escape the shadow of a past like that, especially when it's suddenly being dragged back into the headlines. According to some insiders, Affleck isn't exactly thrilled about the renewed attention on Lopez's history with Diddy. The speculation around those white parties, combined with her presence in Diddy's inner circle, has apparently raised some old insecurities. Notes. Not only should he have apologized to Kathy in that video, he should have apologized to all of the general public that he lied to. Yeah. You so now Affleck is no stranger to the spotlight himself, but the kind of attention Lopez's past with Diddy is bringing is a whole different level. So he's been through the own scandals and controversies, but this one seems to be hitting close to home. The whispers around Lopez's involvement in those wild parties have people wondering if she was more than just a passive participant. And that's a narrative that's tough for any husband to ignore. Rumor has it that the couple has been having some tense conversations about it, with Affleck reportedly questioning how much Lopez really knew about Diddy's world back then. You see, there's no artist, let me be clear, there's no artist in this industry that's doing major numbers with these platforms that haven't sell they sold. So, how has Jennifer been handling all this? She's keeping a low profile, at least for now. But if there's one thing we know about her, it's that she's a master of controlling the narrative. Still, even for someone as seasoned as J-Lo, this isn't just any rumor mill. This is a scandal that goes back decades and it involves some of the biggest names in the industry. The fact that she stayed silent might suggest that she's trying to distance herself, but it also raises questions. Is she staying quiet because there's nothing to say or because saying something might open up a can of worms she'd rather keep closed? Jennifer Lopez's connection to Diddy's parties is one thing, but not forget about Jay-Z and Beyonce, who are also caught up in this web. Jay-Z and Diddy have been close for years, collaborating on music, business ventures, and of course sharing the same high-profile social circles on the but, but now that friendship could be causing some real trouble for Jay-Z's marriage to Beyonce. Rumor has it that the recent allegations surrounding Diddy have cast a shadow over Jay-Z as well, and Beyonce isn't too happy about it. According to insiders, she's been trying to distance herself from the whole situation, even going as far as to avoid public appearances with her husband in recent weeks. I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. So what exactly is causing the tension between Jay-Z and Beyonce? Well, it all goes back to those viral clips and the speculation that's followed. Jay-Z has been a regular at Diddy's white parties for years, and while there's no concrete evidence linking him to anything questionable, the rumors alone are enough to cause strain. Fans have started digging into Jay-Z's past, looking for any hint that he might have been involved in the alleged darker side of these parties. And while Beyonce has stayed silent, her actions speak louder than words. Some are even speculating that she's preparing to take a step back from Jay-Z to protect her own image. Listen, y'all, I, I, I understand that these girls are of age, but this is just disgusting to me. It, it feels very predatory to me. It Beyonce has always been very careful about her public persona, so it makes sense that she'd want to avoid being associated with Diddy's current scandal. But the silence between her and Jay-Z has led to even more rumors, with fans wondering if there's trouble in paradise. After all, this isn't the first time their marriage has been tested, but the stakes are higher now. 
With Diddy's alleged activities coming to light, the scrutiny is intense, and the last thing Beyonce needs is to be dragged into it. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common, professionally and privately, Sean Carter. It's worth noting that Jay-Z hasn't made any public statements regarding his friendship with Diddy, which only adds fuel to the fire. Some are saying that his silence is a sign of loyalty, while others believe it's an attempt to keep a low profile until the storm passes. Either way, it's clear that his association with Diddy is putting a strain on his marriage, and Beyonce is reportedly taking steps to protect herself and her brand. She's been seen attending events solo, and sources say she's been focusing on her own projects to avoid being caught up in the drama. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. But while Beyonce is trying to keep her distance, Jay-Z is left to navigate the fallout on his own. The recent wave of allegations has brought their relationship with Diddy back into the spotlight. How deep do these connections go? And were Jay-Z and Beyonce aware of what was really happening at these parties? These are questions that don't have easy answers, but they're questions that fans and the media are determined to explore. Jay-Z new video with Nas and DJ Khaled is a scene where it's checkerboards. This is, these are all occult, Satanist, symbolic symbols. The viral videos from Diddy's parties have raised the stakes for everyone involved, turning a once glamorous scene into something far more sinister. Jennifer Lopez, Jay-Z, Zian Bayance are all feeling the heat, and their relationships are being put to the test like never before. The question now is, how will they respond? Will they address the rumors head on? Or will they continue to stay silent? As more details emerge, the pressure is building and fans are eager for answers. Well, if he really was filming everybody, I mean, he had a lot of people at those parties, right? The impact of Diddy's white parties is reaching far beyond just him. It's rippling through his entire social circle, bringing up questions about loyalty, complicity, and just how much these celebrities knew. For Jennifer Lopez, it's a reminder of a past she may have thought was long behind her. For Jay Z and Beyonce, it's a test of their marriage and their brand. And for fans, it's a story that's just getting started. The truth behind Diddy's parties may never be fully revealed, but one thing's for sure the fallout is real, and it's affecting some of the biggest names in Hollywood. So, what do you all think? Do you believe Jennifer Lopez, Jay Z, and Beyonce really knew what was happening behind those closed doors at Diddy's infamous white parties? Or is this all just a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.